Welcome back to CUTV News Center. I'm Kat Leverfinger with your entertainment report. Cal U students had a chance to put their dodgeball skills to the test in a dodgeball tournament held by the Chemistry Club. With the recent budget cuts, the Chemistry Club has come up with a creative way to raise funds. We wanted something different, you know, something no one else has really done. Dodgeball is a great manly American sport and we thought it would raise a lot of money for the club. For students, it was a chance to get together with friends and club members for some friendly competition. We've been friends for a while now and we just thought this would be something fun for all of us to do. And It's a nice day out, nice exercise. We wanted to play because it's a great chance to get with all the other science clubs and other students and really come together as one and just like show everyone up, you know, around Cal that we're all together. Jennifer Lawrence won her first Academy Award in February, but on Tuesday she won another major award. Lawrence was given the first annual Friendship Award by Down Syndrome of Louisville, a nonprofit th that serves Kentucky, Kentucky and Indiana. Lawrence could not be there due to filming conflict, but her brother Blaine Lawrence accepted on her behalf from a family friend, Andy Stunk. <laughs> Stunk, a member of the organization, described Lawrence as his true friend and said he can't wait until she comes home. Lawrence has a long history of working with Down Syndrome of Louisville and often volunteered at her grandfather and uncle's annual Christmas party for the organization. <laughs> Looking at the Cal calendar, come out to the first Cal U Jazz Festival. Eight of the region's top professional jazz bands will, will be performing on Saturday, May 4th, starting at 12 p.m. Performances will be held in Steel Hall on the main stage, Morgan Hall Auditorium, and Recital Room 107 in Gallagher Hall. Admission is $10 and you can get into any of the three venues. The Cal U Big Band and Cal U Bebop Quartets will also be performing. For students looking for a break from studying and something fun to do, head over to Mandarino 208 on Monday, May 6th, Tuesday, May 7th, and Wednesday, May 8th, starting at 10.30 a.m. and ending at 4 p.m. There will be Wii, PS3, and Xbox 360. Along with games will be pizza, snacks, and drinks. This event is open to all Cal U students, staff, and faculty. There will be many games, but you can feel free to bring your own. <laughs> For any student that wants to do something fun before finals week, the BSU is sponsoring a trip to Bush Gardens on Saturday, May 11th. The bus will be leaving from in front of the library at 4 a.m. Students can sign up at the information desk. Cost for students with a valid Cal card is $20 and for non-students is $40. This week in the Vulcan Theater is Identity Theft, starring Jason Bateman and Melissa McCarthy. Sandy Bigelow Patterson, an accounts representative, is shocked when he finds out that his identity has been stolen by a woman in Florida. Patterson could lose his job if he doesn't get his name cleared and knows the only way to do that is to hunt down the woman himself and bring her to Denver to face justice. Showtimes are at 4, 8, and 11 on select days. So guys, we got to see some dodgeball being played. It was it was good to see people get out there and act like kids again, but CUTV actually had a team in, and our own Scott Majeski was on it. How was it playing dodgeball? It was very fun. Uh, we went 7-0 in the round robin tournament, but then fell in the first round of the tournament. Sadly, we had a bye, and I think that kind of cooled ourselves off a little bit. But in the end, though, it was for a great cause, and it was fun. It was definitely fun to watch you guys play and get out there and watch oh, yeah. you guys really get into it. Yeah, you guys looked like you were really exerting yourselves mm -hmm. there. Maybe had some soreness the next morning. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I'm still feeling it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and you've waited for him all week long, and he'll be next with your sports report. It's Andy Hughes.